Today on XDA Developer TV, I show you how to root and put a custom recovery on your HTC One. This episode of XDA Developer TV is brought to you by the XDA DevCon. Join us August 9th through 11th in Miami, Florida, a conference for developers by developers. More information available at www.xda-devcon.com. So we'll go ahead and get started here on how to do a custom recovery and root your stock HTC One. Here's the XDA form page uh, made by FlyHav205. It basically links us to the root, to the recovery file as well as a uh, super user or super su zip file that we can use to root later on. Uh, so what you want to do is go ahead and download both of these files. Uh, there's a touch version and a classic version. Or, as I said before, you can use Super User or Super Sue. So download either of those, whichever you prefer. Uh, there's also another option called uh, Team Win Recovery Project. And it, it's pretty similar to Clockwork Mod, but it, uh, it there's some different options and, and you use it differently. Uh, I, I'm... I like the classic clockwork mod uh, more so than uh, twerp uh, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and show you today but once you install twerp it, it automatically roots the ROM that you're currently on so so it makes it a little tiny bit easier uh, but we'll just go ahead and get back into clockwork mod uh, so I've already pre-downloaded these files so I'll go ahead and uh, show you exactly what you need to do here So the same way as in the previous video, when we unlock the bootloader, we hold the volume down and then hold the power button. And eventually it should start up. You can let go of the power button after a second or so. It should start up into your HBoot menu. So what we want right now is we do need to go back into Fastboot to install recovery. So once Fastboot is up here, uh, as you can see highlighted in red, you can go ahead and just plug in your USB cable. Uh, once you have the drivers and everything installed, which I did go through in my previous video So you might want to check that out if, if I'm a little ahead of you here uh, But once you're plugged in and fastboot USB shows there highlight it in red you're good to go So now what you want to type is fastboot flash recovery and then you need to point it to the file you just downloaded. In my case, I have them put in a special place on my D drive. Uh, it, I have a special phone directory uh, and then a directory for the HTC One and then a recoveries directory and Clockwork Touch. This is the version that I'm going to use. So once you have all this typed in, you just hit enter and it says sending recovery. Okay. What writing? Okay. Everything's finished fine. So right now at this point, that's all you needed to do in Fastboot. So once that's done, all you need to do is... So what you want to do is go reboot bootloader right here on the phone and you want to hit the power button to select that. You can navigate with the the volume up volume down as you can see and then select reboot bootloader so now that should restart the phone you can unplug your usb cable at this point as well uh, and the phone will reboot straight back into this menu screen again now what we can do is see where it says bootloader again you just hit the power button on that and you come back to the main menu so now we want to go into recovery so it'll say, as you can see up top, entering recovery, and on bottom there's a build warning that it's not a stock uh, device. Uh, so here you go, and now you're in Clockwork Mod, I've installed the touch version. So to root is very, very simple. You have to have placed the, the zip file from the XDA webpage onto the internal memory of the HTC One, and then you can just go install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and you should be able to go down here and just find the zip card, click on it, click yes to install, and you are rooted and ready to go. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple process, but one quick note, uh, if you are having trouble getting into your H-boot, into your bootloader, uh, definitely go boot back up into the stock sense ROM and go into power options in the Android settings. There's an option there for fast boot. You want to uncheck that, shut the phone down, and then it should boot right up in by holding volume down and power. 
Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any ideas or, or anything you want to see me do with my HTC One, I'm not going to take it apart or anything, uh, but, but anything you want to see me do with it, just put it in the comments down below and uh, we'll see what I can do for you guys next week. If you want to check out my own channels, you can check me out at youtube.com slash e-l-e-c-t-r-o-z or youtube.com slash angry